Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be what I feel like a very long awaited video just because I've been promising it for so stinking long. Um, today's video is going to be kind of like a life update video. What's been going on in my life? Why I took a break last November from YouTube? Um, just kind of everything to do with my life. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So um, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what I feel like, well actually I know it's like the one reason why I took so long to make this update video. Cause I feel, I don't know, I didn't know how to talk about it. I feel like it's a weird thing to talk about. Um, but it, I got a ton of questions about it, which I am very surprised about because I didn't think anybody would notice, but a ton of people asked why I was no longer wearing my engagement ring, which I thought, I didn't think anyone was going to notice, but y'all did. Um, y'all are observant, but yes, um, I'm no longer wearing my engagement ring because TJ and I did call off our engagement. We are still together, but, um, we did call off our engagement last November. Um, we just kind of decided that it wasn't the right time and so we did call off our engagement um like he has the ring and everything like I gave it back to him I have no idea what he did with it but he's got the ring I don't have it so yeah we called off our engagement it just wasn't the right time for us at that point in time um so yeah so we're not engaged but we are still together and um I mean I still plan on marrying him at some point in my life so that it's out there. It's it's out of the way. It's out there. That that was what I was scared about talking about because I feel like it's so strange to be like, yeah, we call off our engagement but we're still together. Like, I feel like that's a weird thing. I feel like that's weird and weird to talk about, but whatever. It's out there and the rest of the video can be happy and exciting. So yeah, TJ and I are still together. We're actually doing really, really well right now. Um, and we have been doing really, really well. Um, he is still living in Springfield, so he's still two and a half hours away from me. But that's okay. We're actually, we're, the long distance thing is like, it's working for us right now. Like, it's, it's, it's actually working really, really well right now. So, yes, that is, those are the two things. Why am I so awkward right now? I don't know. I feel like this is the last two, the two most awkward. What the heck am I saying? The last two minutes of my life have been the most awkward ever. Like, I feel like I'm being so awkward. Why are you being awkward, Logan? I don't even know what to do with my hands. Whatever. Moving on. Um, so yeah. Talked about the engagement thing. <laughs> Talked about TJ and radiology. A lot, a lot of people have been requesting me to do radiology videos. Um, because you know I was in radiology school. Keyword was. Um, yeah. I haven't been doing them because I, I got out of radiology school. I, uh, I kind of dropped out of radiology school. I'm no longer in, in it anymore. Um, I did really, really love it. It was actually like, I absolutely loved it. Um, but there's a couple reasons why it just wasn't for me. I started my clinicals, um, last January and it just, no, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm. I started my clinical, sorry, I had to set up because I feel like I'm sliding down. Okay. Um, I started my clinicals in January and I realized it just was not something for me. I didn't really, didn't really dig it. Um, I loved like the portion before clinicals, but actually like dealing with patients and having to, you know, extubate them and stuff, which was, I mean, it wasn't the funnest time. Um, not because I had to deal with people, but because, I don't know, you're having, like you are in like a very... I don't know, just like the very first patient on my clinical day, it was just awful. Like it was just a something that I didn't want to be a part of. Like I looked at it and I was like, no, this isn't for me. I'm out. I'm out. Um, so yeah, it was just a bad, it, it, it just wasn't for me. Whenever I started my clinicals, I realized I didn't enjoy, like I, I enjoyed it to an extent. Like I love, love, love learning about the human body and the bones and all of that stuff and how everything works. I love that. But actually doing the x-rays on people and actually like seeing people's broken bones and what they look like wasn't for me. Didn't like that portion. So that's why I haven't made any radiology videos because I'm no longer in radiology school. I actually changed my major, which is super exciting, to communications, um, which I actually really, really, really love. Um, I will graduate in May with my associates. Yes, I know. I'm 22 years old and I'm just now getting my associates. I know. I've changed my major a lot. It's been a struggle. I, you know, had to take some time off school because of my health stuff way back years ago. Um, so yeah, 
Like, I know, I know, I'm 22 and I'm just not getting my associates, but it's happening. I'm at least I'm getting it. Um, but yeah, like this is like my sixth time I've changed my major, which is great. But I actually do really, really love it. Even though I'm not actually in any communication courses right now, they like actually like messed up my schedule, <laughs> of course. And so I will take all of the communication portion next semester. So like right now I'm in classes I don't like. I'm just getting like the credits that I need, like the certain credits I need because I needed like two, like a physical science class and like a science with a lab class. I needed like a whole bunch of like stupid science classes, like not like fun science, like anatomy and physiology because I already have all that stuff, but I needed like um, earth science, which I, I don't care about earth science. Like I don't find it interesting, so it's very hard for me to focus and stay focused. Um, and I am taking Spanish, which is fun. Um, I don't understand any of it. I took a year in Spanish in high school, and I didn't learn anything. Like, it, it was, I didn't learn anything in that class. Like, we had, like, a substitute for, like, the whole year, basically. Um, and, like, the substitute didn't, she didn't know what she was doing. So, I really didn't learn anything in high school. And so, I'm having to, like, literally learn, like, everything. I'm starting from the bottom. I'm in elementary Spanish. And um, I still really, I'm not. I'm kind of, I'm a little struggling a little bit, a little bit on the struggle bus. Um, cause Spanish is hard. A second language is hard. Like it's hard, but yeah, I am in Spanish, which is fun because I've always wanted to be fluent in Spanish. I actually like bought like Rosetta Stone years ago, but like you can't use it on Mac. Like it's only for, you have to like buy the Mac one. And I had like the PC one, like the windows one. This I'm getting off topic, but anyway, so yeah, I've always wanted to learn. Um, I've, I've always wanted to be fluent in Spanish. So I guess I'm like on the right track to be in it because I will have to take like a year of Spanish like whenever I'm all said and done. This is obviously my first semester. But yeah, so there's that. I can mark that off. I have like a little notebook of <laughs> key points that I need to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, I changed my major so that's why I haven't done any radiology videos because I'm no longer in radiology school. Like I said, I did love it except for whenever it came to um, actually x-raying people, like real people. Because, like, you x-ray, like, a mannequin and stuff in school. Um, but whenever you actually do your clinicals, you actually... I mean, obviously, that's the whole point of why you're becoming an x-ray tech. Um, is to x-ray people. But, like, it's... I didn't realize, like, yeah, you're going to be dealing with blood and stuff. And, like, not that I have an issue with blood, but, like... I, don't, I have an issue with the stories. Like, the stories of how people broke certain bones. Like, some of them are sad. And that made me sad, and so I didn't want to be part of that. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm done. Like, no. Okay, so yeah. This video is a hot mess. I'm sorry. It's a hot mess. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna leave, like, the most exciting news for, like, the very end. And, like, if you know what it is, then, like, you know. Like, you know. You know what I'm talking about, Amber. You know. You know. I know you've been waiting for this video. You know. Um, but so yeah, I'm gonna leave like the exciting news for like the very, very end. Um, so yeah, what else do I need to talk about? Um, I have a channel update written down, which I'm not sure why, because I'm not really doing anything. I'm not really updating anything. I am gonna get back on a regular schedule. I know. Whoa. <laughs> I went southern there, like super southern there for a second, like super southern, like schedule, like what was that, what? Um, anyway, I'm going to get back on my schedule of the three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I will say though that I won't be uploading every single Friday. I'm going to try and upload three times a week and upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but if I don't upload three times a week, then like that Friday, I won't be uploading, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I like a school job. It's hard. It's hard to, to fit it in, which I am excited though because I just ordered a ring light. It's actually supposed to get in here today, which I'm super excited about. So I will be able to film at night because I have been filming at night, but I don't like the lighting that I currently have. Like, I don't like it at all. It creates like a weird, I don't know. It, it's just, I don't like the lighting at all that I've been using. So I ordered a ring light. It's supposed to get in here today. So I will be able to film at night because that's whenever I like like to film because it's really hard to film during the day and just use like natural lighting because there's only like a certain window of time where you can actually film where the lighting isn't creating like a shadow and stuff and like what time is it right now like right now it's like noon and so like the lighting's perfect but then like in an hour it's gonna be shitty so yeah 
so yeah, I have a ring light, so I will be able to film at night now. So that will actually help a lot with filming videos. So I have gotten a ton of questions on like my health and where it's at at this point. Um, you guys know that I dealt with a lot of headaches and migraines um, like for the last year. And I did get the um, daith piercing, I believe that's what it's called. If it's not, I'm sorry, but it's like where it's like right there. And it's supposed to help with like migraines and headaches. And I will say um, it has helped. It hasn't helped with like the frequency. Like, so how often I have them, but it does help with, like, the pain. So, like, how bad the headache is, it they're not as bad as what they used to be. So, that has helped out a ton. Um, I think I'm going to do a whole video on it, just talking about it and my experience with it. Because there, for, like, the first two weeks, was terrible. Like, I had a headache every single day, and it was a very, very bad headache, like, the first two weeks after I got this done. And so, I was like, great. Like, great. I'm going to have to get this taken out and, like freaking do something but after like that two week mark um I, it actually started helping a ton um so yeah I think I'm gonna do a whole video talking about this piercing and like if it really works and all of that stuff for me so far it's been doing really good um and then about like my stomach issues and everything like that um and like my Barrett's esophagus so I did get my endoscopy done my like yearly endoscopy that I get every single year I got it done I don't even remember whenever I got it done July. I think I got it done in like July and um, like my Barrett's esophagus is good. It hasn't like grown or anything like that which is awesome and it hasn't like gotten any worse or anything. I've been doing pretty well. Like I haven't really had any really bad flare-ups with my stomach hurting and stuff. Um, I had like one really bad one but that's like knock on wood been like the only one in like the last like six months. Like it was a really really bad one. I was with TJ's family which sucked because I don't like to be out in public whenever I'm having like a flare-up and um, it started whenever I was with TJ's family and I was in like the bathroom the whole entire time because I felt so sick but I know this is an awkward thing to talk about and like personal but um, you know if anyone else had these issues or whatever I'm like I want to let them know that I, <laughs> I see you boo I'm, I'm right here I'm right here with you like Trust me, the struggle's real. I'm a part of it. It's bad. Like, it's not fun. So, yeah, that's why I talk about, like, some personal things. <laughs> because, you know, you never know what someone else is going through. And they could be, in this me talking about it could help them in some way. That's, like, been, like, the only flare-up I've had in, like, the last six months. Which has been amazing. It's been fantastic. Um, but, yeah, I really, I, th like, totally accredit that flare-up to gluten. Because, like, that whole entire week... I ate really, really, really bad and a ton of gluten, and then that same night, I had a ton of gluten. Um, and so I totally accredit that flare-up to, like, gluten and, like, high amounts of sugar. Please do not bark. Tinsley is back there in the background, and she's just crazy. She's crazy all the time. This video is going to be so long. It's going to be so long. Tinsley will not stop barking unless I hold her. So I'm going to be holding her for the rest of this video, probably. Because I don't think that she'll stop barking if I put her down. I don't think. I think she'll start right back up again. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you're going to get to see Tinsley being held like a little baby. Um, now we are moving on to the most exciting news of all. The most exciting news. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then... Or Twitter. Instagram or Twitter. Then you probably already know, or at least you've, like, put it together. In Twitter, I know you, like, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know, because I said it on there. But if you, um, follow me on Instagram, then you probably have put it together, because I've uploaded some pictures. But I got a new job, you guys. Um, so, yeah, I work for Sephora. Yes, dance party. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yes, I work for Sephora, um, which is crazy. Like, it's, it's nuts, because, um, we actually like don't have a Sephora around here but we're getting one and so yeah um we open in October which is so exciting so yeah I am I work for a Sephora inside JC Penney's um so yeah I'm so excited I got hired in August yeah I got hired I got hired in August and we opened in October but we've like been doing everything to get ready for it and everything and I'm so excited about it I cannot wait like oh I like love my coworkers. My coworkers are the best. Shout out to Amber Ray, who is my boss, who's the beauty manager. Um, she has been like really promoting my channel, and that's just like the sweetest thing ever. Like everyone's been promoting my channel, but so thank you guys so so much. Um, yeah, I'm really really excited to start. We have like a great group of girls that we're working with, and I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait. I literally cannot wait for grand opening. I think it's gonna be 
the most fun in the entire world. I'm so, so, so stinging excited. But with that being said, I really do want to focus on like trying out products for you guys and like reviewing them for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So let me know if there's any like certain products that you guys want me to try out from Sephora and I will do that. So yeah, I'll do that for you guys because I really want to focus a lot of that on my channel. Like trying out new products and seeing like how they work. You know what I'm saying? Um, do keep in mind though that I do have very dry skin so something, someone with oily skin and like a product for oily skin is going to react differently with my skin just so you know. Um, but yeah, so I'm really really excited about I'm just so excited because, I mean, we've been working there, like, all of us have been working at Sephora um, for, like, a while now since August. Well, I mean, I guess it's not that long. It feels like it's been a long time, though, because, you know, we are having so much fun. Um, but I'm, like, just excited to actually work inside Sephora and, like, work there on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, like, over the weekend, we had, like, a little fashion show for JCPenney's, and I got to do some makeup, and it was super fun and exciting. Um, but, yeah, I'm... I just can't wait to open up. I'm like so excited. Yeah. So yeah, um, that is my update for this video. That is my news. Sephora, working for Sephora is definitely the most exciting news of it all. I cannot wait for us to open. It's going to be so much fun. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Um, just a shout out to all my Sephora co-workers. Hey. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It will mean the absolute world to me. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.